we're going to work on laying out a hip rafter today <coughs> and uh, basically I've got a span of 12 feet I've got a slope of 612 and uh, we're going to keep it very simple we're going to go with a simple one foot overhang uh, on this on this roof system this is going to be a hip roof so we're going to need four hips to put this all together uh, there's our span so 12 feet is our span uh, we remember that half the span equals the run so half of 12 is going to be six feet for my run on this on the framing square uh, a 612 hip make sure you're looking at the second line down that's the hip the unit length for a hip for 612 is 18 inches so for every foot out <coughs> the hip has to travel 18 inches to cover that space remember the hips are going 45 degrees uh, more or less to our common rafters that's why that distance is so much greater so our run is 6 times our unit length 6 times 18 gives us 108 inches will be our line length of our hip rafter so that's going to be 108 inches from our pl our plumb cut on top to all the way to the back of our bird's mouth to what we call the heel cut <clears throat> on the, on the all the way at the back of the the rafter from the heel cut then we will add our 18 inches <clears throat> so 108 is our line length 18 inches is our overhang there's 108 plus 18 so our total length of our <clears throat> hip rafter is going to be 126 inches that takes care of everything uh, we will be doing a little bit of uh, shortening and uh, some modifications as we lay this out but uh, you know go, th go through this in your head uh, it wouldn't wouldn't hurt to write this down as you have it kind of uh, to go back and re reference it <clears throat> as you're laying things out so half of our span gives us our run six feet the unit length of a hip at 612 is 18 inches per foot of run so I have six feet of run I have 18 inches per one foot gives me 108 inches line length and there's my total length what I really want to do then is I want to I want to make sure I kind of go step by step here <clears throat> and uh, I'm just going to replace this with this uh, notice I have my calculator right here that's a that's a nice thing to have for you when you're when you're getting into these numbers especially if we get into an oddball uh, overhang let's say it was 16 inches of an overhang then we would have to be 1.3 times our unit length okay so a calculator is going to be very handy for you crown your lumber when you start to lay out your hip make sure you get the crowns on it if it's upside down that hip is going to deflect and it's going to make a mess of everything <clears throat> first thing we want to do then after we crown it we're going to lay out the top plumb cut in this case it's a six it's a six slope so we're going to hold 6 and 17 on our framing square and uh, basically what I did there <clears throat> is I did the same thing with a piece of tape on my 6 and 17 and uh, so there's my 17 and there's my 6 uh, now I'm going to be able to see that really good <clears throat> the, the other option would be to put on the square dogs and uh, go, go from there uh, but this will work very nicely 617 for the hip only make sure you remember that for the hip only uh, we'll go ahead and measure out our line length after after we do our lay out our plumb cut <clears throat> on top we'll put a nail on that we'll measure out down our line length and we'll go ahead and lay out our bird's mouth making sure we have enough we're going to have enough uh, of a, a, a heel cut <clears throat> to sit on top of our wall once our bird's mouth is laid out we can measure from the back of the heel cut and that's going to give us our overhang that's going to measure out our overhang <clears throat> so there's our bird's mouth that should be the, the 108 inches to the line length we add our 18 inches for the overhang and then that will give us <clears throat> where everything is on the back side of it in the tail area before we go too crazy we then want to go back to the top and we want to shorten the top of the hip rafter remember we we figured out our hip rafter going all the way to the middle of that ridge board well it doesn't quite make it does it it gets intercepted it gets intercepted by one half the diagonal length of the ridge board which a diagonal length of the the ridge board is uh, is going to give you an inch and an eighth for that amount that we subtract 
I typically subtract about an inch off of the uh, off the top of my hip and that gives me that little bit of extra down down at the end there so I, ha I do have a little more to, to play with down there so um, so <clears throat> after we crown it and lay out our plum cut uh, at this it, this one particular is six six slope <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and measure out our line length, which we have written down over here, which is 108 inches. Uh, off the back of the line length, we'll be able to lay out our bird's mouth. From the back of the bird's mouth, we'll be able to lay out our overhang, and, uh, and then we can do our, our cuts on that. <clears throat> the very last thing we're going to want to do is shorten that uh, hip rafter at the top by one inch and one and one eighth inch, <clears throat> which is one half the diagonal length going up into our ridge board. And uh, that covers all those steps all the way down. We're ready to go ahead and uh, get started. I'll lay out the hip, <coughs> and uh, step by step, we'll go through this. We'll we'll uh, make sure that uh, all of our all of our information is still here, and we'll make sure that our notes are here. Um, I can't I can't specify I can't uh, tell you how important it is. Uh, crown your lumber, especially on and on these hips. The hips tend to be fairly long and uh, we want to make sure that our crowns are all up um, because then all of our hip jacks are going to tie into those real nice and clean. <clears throat>